I think it was right around 1987, BART tried to do it again. They had targeted the old apartment building on the corner of 9th and Oak Street, the Madison Park Apartments, which was the oldest five-story wood frame apartment building west of the Mississippi. It actually was, uh, was a potential landmark. BART had tied up that property. Um, they had actually bid on it at a uh, foreclosure sale. And they were interested in simply tearing it down and putting up a new BART headquarters building right there and displacing the approximately 100 units of housing. Well, by that time, Evalsi was already an established um, community organization. And uh, one of our focus uh, was advocacy. And we would not let that happen. Uh, we embarrassed BART uh, as to how they proceeded with that project. And we learned that they failed to follow the uh, correct procedure. They had not gotten a formal appraisal for the site. They simply bid what was needed at the foreclosure sale. They had not studied the landmark potential of the site, and they did not know whether or not they could even tear it down, but they went ahead and tried to do it anyway. And they did not consult anybody in the community about it. So Ebalsi got together with a number of other community organizations, and we started to organize a protest and a boycott of BART. And the directors were so embarrassed, and they wanted this to all go away, they ultimately sold it to Ebalsi. But they didn't want to take a loss, so they sold it to Ebalsi at the same price they paid for it, which was too high. But to make it affordable, they carried back the entire financing at something like 3% or a below market rate to allow the units to be converted to affordable housing. And today, Ibalsi owns the building and is operating as affordable housing. 